What's up, buddy? You keeping them all in line? All right, let's walk in here. It's a little cluttered up right now. And this is the reservoir tank I was talking about. It's 35 gallons. I got it from Trax Tractor Supply years ago. It's got a lid on it. And there it's all connected. You see the holes on the side. I only have three holes because I don't need one in the back. I could have probably spaced the holes a little closer together and got about five or so. But I think once they find the water, it'll be fine. There it is all connected. I routed those up through there. That's no, not pinched. So that should supply water for a good while. A float valve from Tractor Supply. I've had it for a few years. Turn around a little bit. I take it out of here, but it's already mounted in there, screwed in. Um, there's a float, you can see it a little red there. It's a float that uh, shuts the valve off, the water off, when it gets up that high. The first thing I did was I took this bucket. It's a chlorine bucket from the pool. It's a 25 pound bucket and it has a lid that screws on. Um, I won't be able to screw it on since this valve port sticks up above, but it works pretty good. First thing I did was make my holes to stick the brackets in. Those are one inch holes there. And I can adjust it a little bit, probably about three quarters of an inch. Further down if I had to. Um, once I got that fastened, then I filled this up. There's two ways to fill it. I have a reservoir that's non-pressurized. It's a 35 gallon water tank. And I've got it sitting about four feet above. So it's going to fill this up okay. The other way I did it was I hooked it up to the faucet over here and a hose. Now that's pressurized. That's whatever the pressure is coming from the house. Keep in mind that if you're going to be pressurizing this from a faucet, it's going to put more pressure on that valve and it won't shut off until it gets another about a half inch higher. And that's why my holes are looking about a half inch higher. Um, I think it'll still be okay, but if I have to, I can drill the holes lower. But the last thing you want to do is drill these holes for the chickens to stick their head in to, to drink. But what I did was I hooked all this up and then I filled it up just like normal. And then I got a pen and I marked the water level where it stops. And then I transferred it to the outside and then I drilled my holes. I used them, I used the uh, hole saw. I guess they call them hole saws. The circle bits saws. This is a two and a half inch. It's what I used for the drinking holes. I think this is a one inch and that's what I used back here for the brackets to stick through. Now this kind has a little bolt on there that fastens so it's pushed again against there pretty good. If I had to I could wedge something in here if I think this is going to drop down any but it's, it's nice and firm. And then the last thing I did was I got my lid and I'm going to have to get another one because my other model I had a board right inside here where this sat closer to the center but I took that board out it was too wobbly uh, too much chance for error, error and it would never shut off because it'll tip on you so anyways I came up with this other model just put the bracket here I guess if you wanted to you could just put it over the top too if you have a, a bucket but wait until the last thing to do to drill your holes for the water drinkers 
And like I say, the last thing I did was I'll put the lid back on, I'll mark it, and I think this is an inch and a half. Uh, I don't have an inch and an eighth or inch and a quarter. I think an inch and a quarter would fit right over top of that. An inch is just too small. So that's the water, chicken water. I bought these plastic fittings at Lowe's and I cut my hose the length I think I want. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive and it looks like they're going to be durable for what I'm using here to connect the water bucket. About three bucks each, down at Lowe's. Okay, I'm going to route this here, let's connect this, and that'll wind down to the bucket. And I have to cut my lid yet, the hole for the lid, and put that on there. Okay, the lid is on. It just sits on top of there. Went ahead and drilled that hole in there for it. And that'll just sit on there. Now let's go ahead and screw this on. I'll have to turn the bucket into the hose because the hose end does not swivel, I don't think. But it, either, way, either way, just turn and uh, screw it on there. 